Ava. I'm Ben. I'm Madison. I'm Drew. We're the Disaster Dodgers. And we're here to help you. Be prepared. Today, we'll talk about something that can happen at any time and can do a lot of damage. Like a surprise quiz from my teacher. Much worse, severe weather. Like a tornado or a hurricane. Extreme heat. Or extreme cold. What about a flood that's caused by severe weather? Floods are really common. They can happen in every single state. Lots of things can cause a flood. Heavy rain. Rivers that overflow. Really big ocean waves. Melting snow. A dam or levee that overflows. Flood water is dangerous, especially when it's still moving. It can knock you off your feet. And even if the water looks clean, it could make you sick, so never drink it. Ah, gross. If there's heavy rain or a bad storm, keep a TV, radio, or cell phone on for flood alerts. If you find out there's a flood watch or a flash flood watch, it means flooding may happen. If you hear there's a flood warning, tell an adult right away so that they can take action. If there's a flash flood warning, tell somebody and get the high ground fast. Floods are dangerous. Never walk through flood water, and adults should not drive through it. <laughs> Hurricanes can cause floods, but they can also bring other kinds of danger. Hurricanes are strong tropical storms that form in the ocean and can come onto land. Hurricanes have strong winds of at least 74 miles per hour. They can even reach 155 miles per hour or more. Whoa! When a hurricane comes, heavy rain, strong winds, and large waves called storm surges can damage buildings, trees, and cars. So it's important for you and your family to be prepared. If you're at home during a hurricane, use a TV, radio, or cell phone to listen for alerts. Keep away from windows and glass doors. Lie on the floor under something sturdy like a table, because things could fall on you and hurt you. If it's expected to be too dangerous to stay in your area, you and your family may be asked to evacuate. Evacuate? You'll need to leave your home and get to a safe place. If that happens, follow instructions from officials. If you get separated, follow your family communications plan to reconnect, and be sure to bring your family emergency kit. Hurricanes can be really dangerous. So can twisters. You know, tornadoes. Tornado is a violent storm that sometimes looks like a funnel or a cone. If you haven't seen one up close, you've probably seen one on TV. Winds can reach up to 300 miles per hour. Now that's fast. Tornadoes can happen in any state, but most occur in the middle of the U.S. in what they call Tornado Alley. Keep a TV, radio, or cell phone on for tornado alerts. A tornado watch means a tornado may be possible in your area. If there's a tornado warning, it means someone has seen a tornado nearby. You and your family need to get to a safe place immediately. If you're indoors when a tornado comes, go to the basement or lowest level of the home or building. Stay away from windows, doors, and outside walls. Get under something sturdy and use your arms to protect your head and neck. Don't open any windows. A tornado is one good reason to stay indoors. A heat wave is another one. Hey, can you turn on the heat a little? Yikes! A heat wave is an extended period of extreme heat. And to make things even worse, it often comes with high humidity. This kind of heat can be dangerous and can threaten the lives of older people, young children, and people who are sick. 
When it's super hot, stay indoors as much as you can. Heat rises, so stay on the lowest floor away from the sun, especially if you don't have air conditioning. Drink lots of water, even if you aren't thirsty. Eat light meals. If you have to go out, wear light-colored clothes that cover as much skin as possible. Wear a wide-brimmed hat. Check on your pets to make sure they're okay. It's important to keep them hydrated, too. If your home loses power, your family can go to a public shelter to stay cool. Speaking of staying cool, it's getting pretty frosty in here. Building a snowman may be fun, but freezing in the cold is not. In a winter storm, it can be really cold outside. Plus, there can be strong winds, ice, sleet, and freezing rain. A bad storm could knock out heat, power, and phone surface for days. When it's really cold, stay indoors as much as you can. If your home doesn't have heat, your family should find a warmer place to stay. Walk carefully on icy sidewalks. If you're outside for a long time and your fingers, nose, or toes can't feel anything, go inside before you get frostbite. If you go outside, wear several layers of light clothes instead of one heavy layer. Wear mittens. They're warmer than gloves, a hat, and cover your mouth with a scarf to protect your lungs. You might not have to worry about extreme cold in your area, but there's a good chance you need to get ready for some of the other kinds of severe weather we've talked about today. To start, you and your family should sign up for local weather alerts. So tonight, talk to your family about making a plan and taking time to practice it. Always remember, when it comes to disasters, be informed. Make a plan. Get prepared and go to ready.gov to find out more.